In the month of May, we have a couple of Cybertruck updates that I think are noteworthy. For one, we had our northernmost sighting of a Cybertruck ever in Michigan, where at the Formula SAE Tesla booth, they appeared to, without any warning or announcement, bring the latest generation Cybertruck prototype out for everybody to look at and check out themselves. I don't believe that it's just Elon was visiting Michigan for some reason and he's bringing his truck around. Whoever seems to be in control of the prototypes may be doing their around the country, kind of showing off the latest prototype to more and more people. They did this with the OG prototype a couple times where they drove it around Giga Texas and then brought it to New York City, but that design had door handles and no side view mirrors, so it was probably setting false expectations moving forward, so it appears that Tesla wants to take the closer to production ready Cybertruck to more and more places. Again, it's not the completed finalized prototype, we've already seen glimpses from the interior on this one that they're basically using using the exact same yoke that's in the Model S and X, minus an airbag, so this is by no means the final design, but I do think it's safe to say it's a lot closer to the final design than what that original prototype showcased in 2019 was, and from this photograph, we got a pretty decent angle of how the door buttons will work, particularly for the rear doors. This angle, I guess, was able to showcase more so than others how that door button is kind of facing upwards a bit more than I expected, and it's logical because the Cybertruck doesn't have door handles that helps reduce on cost and complexity when it comes to all of this stainless steel that they're going to have to be cutting and bending into position. Not to mention there's a lot of theories on how the Cybertruck exoskeleton will get quite hot when in direct line of sight of the sun. So if it's a summer hot day and you had to grab that steel or something that would probably start to burn your hand. So accessing those doors through the buttons on the side is only practical and logical. But of course that's all just prototype and speculative talk. Let's talk about real production and how Tesla is moving on that, I'm very happy to say that after my video talking about the three stages of Cybertruck production, there appears to be at least some movement on that very first stage I talked about, which is on the Gigapress installation. Hydra, who is the company Tesla's been working with that's designed all of these giant Gigapresses that they've installed at Fremont, they've installed them in Berlin, they've installed them in Texas. Basically, they're these 6,000 ton presses that build massive, massive components of the vehicles that help reduce on complexity, help reduce on price of manufacturing. And in previous earnings calls from like last year, they've been saying for a while that the Cybertruck would be using underbody casting presses that are even larger. And the number they gave us was an 8,000 ton gigapress. And Hydra, of course, is the only company in the world that's capable of building these right now. Hydra has been posting on LinkedIn about how they're about to showcase the next generation 9,000 ton gigapress, which indirectly they've basically confirmed Tesla is interested in buying. It makes a whole lot of sense. There's basically no other company right now buying giant gigapresses like this other than Tesla. And Tesla has no use for a 9,000 ton gigapress for anything other than the Cybertruck. And the photos of it first being set up have been tweeted online. And for a while there was speculation that this gigapress was being installed at Giga Texas, but I have not seen that to be the case. These pictures seem to be from within Hydra's manufacturing facility. And the LinkedIn post says their plan is to assemble it and unveil it at an open house. So basically they're letting investors and guests that are interested in this new manufacturing technology to come check out the 9,000 ton Gigapress before it officially gets shipped and installed to Giga Texas, which I'm kind of like, how many freaking people need to look at a casting press? Like, can we bypass this whole open house thing and just get it installed right away, please? That's what I would prefer. But it's cool to actually see some documented pictures of this thing to know that yes, it is real. And it gives some perspective with the guy standing next to it as to how massive of a machine this is. Like, if any of you guys watch the coverage of Cyber Rodeo, you know how big the 6,000 ton Gigapresses already are. The fact that there's now a 9,000 ton Gigapress that's being assembled is insane. But, just to provide a more realistic timeline, I see some people still jumping to a lot of conclusions. The fact that they're assembling it right now and they want to showcase it at an open house in the next couple weeks does not mean that Cybertruck production is starting end of this year. I'm sorry. It's not that quick a process. This is very, very heavy machinery and it takes a lot of time to get it calibrated working properly and if you follow Tobias Lind covering Giga Berlin installations and Jeff Roberts, Joe Tankmeyer covering Giga Texas equipment installs you know that the Giga presses were installed like six to eight months before the factories actually started producing vehicles okay so I'm not saying stage one is complete I'm just saying there's motion going on within stage one when it comes to bringing the Cybertruck to market which is that okay we're seeing the 
third parties Tesla works with start building the equipment, but that equipment has not been installed yet. It has not been calibrated yet. So we still probably have two or three months before they even get this 9,000 ton press into Giga Texas. And then once it's in there, it's still probably going to take a while for them to figure out how to mass produce the exoskeleton, ramp up enough 4680 batteries for the Cybertruck. Not to mention so much of the Cybertruck design requires new parts, new materials. It has a different display from the Model Y. It has different seats from the Model Y. It has a different steering yoke, probably even from the Model S and X. I don't expect them to just pop out the S and X yoke and put it in the truck. Plus the mass production of Tesla armored glass has never been done before. So yes, there is motion going on with Cybertruck production. They are technically moving on equipment and parts and that kind of thing. But I just don't want to set the false expectation that this means deliveries are right around the corner. No, there's still a long way to go before then. But it's this kind of casting technology that you're not being seen used by Rivian or Ford or especially GM, the leader of EVs. And that's why I personally think even if the Cybertruck specs are not that great and even if the price is $100,000 with range a little bit over 300 miles, right now in the EV space and probably for several years to come, it's not about who can make the cheapest model. It's not about who can make the most desirable model with the right frunk space or the right bed space or the right exterior design that the most amount of truck buyers are interested in. The pickup truck that will sell the best is the one that will be made the most. That's why you're seeing $100,000 vehicles like the Tesla Model S outsell every non-Tesla EV in the United States. Like sure, the VW ID4 is a great value and that's probably more approachable to a lot of everyday consumers, but the Model S is still outselling it because Tesla can ramp production and build more EVs than anybody. And because I think the Cybertruck design will be so simple with one configuration basically, I predict, of course, just one color exterior. I think they're only going to have one interior option. I don't think it's going to be like a choice between black or white. And I think they're only going to build quad motors. That way they don't have to honor any of the original FSD pricing from previous pre-orders. They're just going to do quad motor. They're just going to have one interior, probably just going to have one tire option to choose from. And with single piece castings like this one and the exoskeleton replacing the body on frame design, I think the Cybertruck will ramp production faster than the Lightning, faster than the Rivian, faster than the Chevy Silverado EV, faster than anybody. And again, it won't be a matter of demand. It'll just be about manufacturing capacity. Hopefully Ford can catch up on orders. Although if it's going to be anything like their Mach-E ramp, it's not going to be too good. And hopefully I'm wrong and Tesla is able to move on installing this equipment to Giga Texas quickly. That way everyone can get disappointed by the true Cybertruck specifications a lot sooner. Either way, I just want to see these things on the road. I don't care what the range is. I don't care what the price is. Cybertruck is such a cool futuristic looking vehicle. I want to see IRL impressions and driving reviews. And of course, I want to check one out myself. So let me know what you guys are most looking forward to when it comes to the Cybertruck hitting the market down below. Thank you to everyone supporting this channel over on Patreon. Seriously, helps us out a ton, as does just watching these videos. So thanks again. Take care. Have an excellent rest of your day.